We're with Philip Massaro, the editor-in-chief of Gun Digest, which a lot of people say is the greatest gun book in the world. Well, you know, David, I, uh, I'm really proud to be the seventh editor-in-chief of the Gun Digest. Uh, it's been in publication since 1944. And you're the seventh editor? I'm the seventh editor. So names like John Amber, you know, and, and uh, uh, Ken Warner, other people that have just come before me, it's an honor for me to be uh, in charge of the world's greatest gun book. And it's our 75th anniversary edition coming up this year. So, uh, again, thank you for having me. But uh, um, you know, I'm pretty proud to be associated with the gun. When will that edition come out? Uh, it usually comes out in uh, late August, early September. So we're getting, we're, yeah. we've got about half a year to half go. Half a year to go. Sure, yeah. The real reason that you're here today, though, is to talk about ammunition. Well, what have you found here at SHOT Show? Look, SHOT Show is the greatest show on earth, you know, so there's been a lot of advancements in ammunition over the years, but uh, we continue to have a development. Um, for example, the 27 Nosler came out, and the boys at Nosler are friends of mine. Uh, uh, the, the 270 Winchester is on hollowed ground, and we know that, Jack O'Connor's pet. Uh, but I always felt that the 270 Winchester was a little handicapped by its slower rate of twist and the inability to use bullets more than 150 grains. So the 27 Nosler is uh, essentially a 404 Jeffrey neck down to a 3006 length cartridge, but with a faster twist rate so we can use 165 grain acubons and bullets heavier. So it's a really, it's, a, it's an exciting new cartridge. The, uh, the 270 has got a new lease on life, if you will. Were there any surprises at the show this year? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say anything was actually shocking, but you know, the evolution of bullet technology continues to roll. You know, the guys at Sierra are coming out with you know better bullets with better BCs. Uh, the folks at Federal have improved on uh, Jack Carter's old line of the trophy bonded bear claw, which has come through to the trophy bonded tip and now their uh, terminal ascent, they're calling it. So what, what we've got is we've got a really strong bullet, an accurate bullet, no fouling, high BC, will hold together at close distances and yet can still reach out and touch them and, and you know give reliable expansion and uh, penetration. So long distance shooters how do they actually keep up on this sort of thing when, when, when you're a shooter and particularly most people don't come to shot show because it's an industry show how do they know what's new, what, what's coming out? Well, they probably rely on a guy like me, who's a freelance writer for different publications. Uh, obviously, when you're an expert in a particular facet of an industry, you should know what you're talking about. And in your articles, you want to educate the, the reader or listener on a podcast or what have you. So, you know, they, they send me out, and I, I find the new stuff that I find interesting and kind of pour, you know portray that, uh, uh, its benefits and what have you to the reader. Who do you write for? Uh, well, obviously, Gun Digest is sure. the Annual and the Gun Digest magazine. I do a lot for the NRA's American Hunter and Shooting Illustrated, uh, American Shooting Journal uh, for the NSSF as well. So as a freelance guy, I'm kind of free to pick and choose who I write for. Um, but you know, my forte is to sit back and explain what can be rather boring when you look at technical numbers and put it in a, a positive light and educate the shooter to make a better decision for what's going to work for him, you know, him or her. Well, we appreciate the insight. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's what we do. We're here with Philip Massaro, and he's editor-in-chief of Gun Digest. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.